Ah, another visitor. I suppose I should come to expect them. Tell me, how did you arrive in this wasteland? I don't know. Met a guy in a strange outfit, like some kind of riot gear. Didn't tell me his name. Just told me there was somewhere I needed to go, someone I needed to see. Then there was a flash of light, and I was in this canyon. Some guy named Chalk led me here, told me to speak to the burned man. I am this burned man you speak of, but you may call me Joshua Graham. I'm Frank. Greetings, Frank. Your arrival here is no coincidence. Mean to say, I was meant to end up here? Sounds biblical. There are forces beyond the dimensions of you and I that seek to bring us together. Biblical? Perhaps. But I have had trouble discerning their motivations. Nevertheless, I suppose it does us no good to speculate. You were brought here to speak to me, which leads me to believe you need spiritual guidance, or perhaps a mirror to reflect upon your own journey. You, Frank, are a man acquainted with pain, with loss. I can see it in your eyes, the same abyss that once consumed me. I don't need a mirror, and I don't need guidance, especially not the spiritual kind. My path is clear, set by the blood of my family. What I need, what I seek, is justice. Justice is a road fraught with peril, Frank. It's a word many invoke, but few truly understand. I walked a path of vengeance once, believing it to be justice. I was the Malpais Legate, the right hand of a warlord known as Caesar. I believed in our cause, believed our actions served a greater good. But in the end, all I served was my own pride and wrath. I'm not some warlord or a legionary. I'm a father, a husband, or at least I was. The scum I hunt, they took that from me. They left me with nothing but this war. And this war, Frank, do you believe it will fill the void they left? Will the blood you spill wash away your pain? Bring back what you've lost. It's not about what I've lost. It's about making sure no one else has to feel this emptiness. If my hands must be soaked in blood to save an innocent life, so be it. I understand your pain more than you might believe. The fire that scarred my flesh was but a fraction of the burning within my soul. But in that fire, I was given a chance for redemption. A chance to see that true strength lies not in the power to destroy, but in the power to protect, to heal. Vengeance and protection aren't mutually exclusive. I protect the innocent by eliminating those who would seek to harm them. I'm sure you do the same. But fire only begets more fire. Frank, you stand at a crossroads as I once did. Down one path, endless war. A cycle of bloodshed and pain. Down the other, the possibility of peace, not just for the world, but for your own heart. In this war, there's no room for peace, not until the guilty are punished. Then you have chosen an endless war, for there will always be guilty souls. The best we can hope for is that the guilty are punished by God, lest we take on our own guilt to make a small dent in the grand scheme of things. God, you think he's watching over this? If he was, he turned his back a long time ago. It's up to those willing to get their hands dirty, to do what's necessary. A good man does not sit idly by while injustice flourishes around him, while lives are destroyed. And what of your life, Frank? You punish the guilty, but at what cost to your own soul? Perhaps I did not lose my wife, my children, but I suffered. For my failure as legate, I was covered in pitch, set aflame, and thrown into the Grand Canyon. I felt my flesh burn and my spirit nearly extinguish. But in that agony, that moment of near destruction, I finally understood. True strength, true justice, isn't about the pain we inflict, the justice we deal from the barrel of a gun, but about how much we can endure and still hold on to our humanity. I lost humanity a long time ago. You stop believing in those ideals when you see your family taken from you. 
What's left is a man willing to do what others can't, what others won't. You talk of internal battles, but those don't bring my family back. They don't stop the next innocent from falling victim to the scum of this world. In that you are correct. But these internal battles might stop your soul from falling victim to the base impulses of man. In a world filled with misery and uncertainty, it is a great comfort to know that in the end, there is a light in the darkness. Maybe you're right, Graham. Maybe there is a light. But right now, it's too dim, too distant. Then follow your path, Frank. I hope you find that light. Find your way back from the darkness. It is the way of all men to crawl their way from the dark into the light. And it is a journey that must be made all throughout our lives. Humanity is but a collection of wayward souls, searching for a place they can call home. Home? I don't even remember what that feels like anymore. One day, Frank, you shall. Until then, know that you do not walk this path alone. There are others. Others who have walked through the fire and emerged reborn. Others who understand. I'll consider what you said. You speak with conviction. I respect that. And I respect your choices, as they are yours alone to make. Let us move on to other matters. I don't suppose you care to stay in this wasteland. Right. Do I just wait for another flash of light? I'm afraid that it is not so simple. This stranger you spoke of, who brought you here, will not assist in taking you back to your own world. You must find your own way back. Not like I can click my heels together and teleport back. To you, I offer the same advice that I offered to another traveler. You will make your way southwest, through Vegas, to a place called the Big Empty. It is an old world research center, one that has the technology necessary for you to return home. Why all this trouble? The stranger who brought you here is a courier of sorts, a messenger. Sometimes the only way to deliver a message is to tell a story. Perhaps the courier wants to deliver a message to you indirectly. What message? I'm not in the mood for games. There is an expression in this wasteland. Old world blues. It refers to those so obsessed with the past that they can't see the present, much less the future, for what it is. But telling you this alone is not enough. You will need to experience it for yourself. That is all I can offer you, for this story must be your own. Hmm, thanks. You're welcome. Until next time, Frank, and God be with you.